My reaction to being nominated as Teacher of the Year was shocked and I cried a little bit just because I was proud of myself. But there is definitely a sense of like accomplishment and just like an appreciation for the hard work and dedication that I put in for the students. My favorite part about teaching is connecting with the students. I like to try and build those relationships and just become friends with them as well as their teacher and just be somebody for them to like lean back on if they need help or anything. Miss Mint was nominated by our school because she's a superwoman. She goes above and beyond every day, but she really stepped up when there was a teacher in her department who was out uh, for a period of time. Uh, after a week, Miss Amint volunteered to take two classes at a time here in the Media Center into our professional development area and teach two classes at a time until that teacher was able to return. So teachers will tell you that grading and work and teaching students is a lot of work, but when you voluntarily double up uh, in order to meet the needs of students, it's worthy of recognition. My teaching style is more hands-on um, with more activities, so escape the rooms, um, whiteboards, uh, just more around the rooms and stuff like that where the kids are getting more hands-on learning and not just listening to me give the lecture. I think Miss Amen is the best teacher because she's very nice and she helps students uh, always when they're asking questions and willing to do anything for them. What I like most about Miss Amen's class is that she's really understanding and and she's really caring for about for um, her many students and um, it's just really nice if you're sad or something you could talk to her and she completely understands. I think Ms. Amit deserves to be Teacher of the Year because of her dedication to her students and making sure they succeed. I would describe Ms. Amit and her teaching as uh, about relationships. She does a really good job of making connections with students and helping them to feel comfortable. Math is one of those areas where if you've struggled before with math, uh, you kind of feel like it's you against the subject. Uh, Ms. Amit does a really good job of making students know that it's She's on their side of that equation and helping them to conquer their fears or struggles with math. I hope my students take away a sense of problem solving and a sense that like perseverance will get them far and that like a positive attitude will help them reach their goals and that a sense of accomplishment because algebra 2 is a really hard topic. Congratulations, Congratulations Ms. Amen. Amen.